Hi, welcome to the RibbonFair.com video series. My name is Betty Kreiberg, and today we're going to be working with the Slide of Bow Maker. Um, we're going to be starting making a pom pom bow, but I really want to show you variations of that pom pom bow. You're going to see in the fourth chapter of your finishing touch book your standard loop bow or pom pom bow. And, uh, when I was a kid, we had to wrap it around a square of cardboard or hold onto it and wrap it all around. We used the slideable for that. And refer to our, our first video series for the slideable maker for your loop bow. And what I've done is made some pre bows here. They're um, wrapped around the bow maker and cut and tied already. And I'm going to show you some variations of this bow. So the first one that I'd like to show you is just a feathering. And in the book, it's going to show you some different types of feathering. One of them is just slitting in at a diagonal on that. The other one is doing a double cut. So you fold it and cut up towards the center. And so when, that, when you open that bow up, you're going to go ahead and pop that open. And you've got feathers popping out in all directions. So we do the half turn towards you and the half turn away, half turn towards you, and that is a feathered bow. Now what we're going to do is another variation of that feathered bow, and it is called a carnation. So this is a, a little pom-pom bow that I have made, and when you make a carnation, don't make it any bigger than number three. It doesn't matter if you're using a wide ribbon or a narrow ribbon. You're going to wrap it around the arms of the bow maker on number three, and it stays nice and compact. Again, you're going to open that up. I've got it tied in the center, and um, we're going to just do a half turn towards you and half turns away, and we're making a, a really overstuffed little pom-pom bow. So that is another variation. We're going to open up the other side. Again, pull all the tails forward and get everything going out in the same direction. This is so easy and so fun. And you'll be surprised um, when we do this um, what it's going to look like. So we're going to get our overstuffed little pom-pom bow all made up here. And then what you do, it's gorgeous just like that. We're going to take and smash it down. I'm going to take the take my scissors and cut the tops out of everything. Oh my gosh, she just ruined that gorgeous bow. But I'm just cutting in an arc or a semicircle here. Nobody said this was neat. We're going to just cut in a semicircle. Make sure that you get all the edges cut off. Now another variation of this is to use a pinking shear because you'll get a ruffled edge on your carnation and so then it doesn't look so ribbon-like. What you're going to do is just take the handle of your scissors and just ruffle that up like that and you have got yourself a gorgeous carnation. Look at that. You can put those on baskets. We've done these on packages. Corsages, boutonnieres, all kinds of amazing things that you can do with that beautiful little carnation. And last but not least, we have another bow that is called a thistle. And again, that's a slight variation of your same pom-pom bow. Go ahead and make your pre-bow like this. I did use a little wider ribbon. And what I'm going to do is fold that in half and just cut in in strips. So fold it together and cut in strips. Turn it around and do the same on the other side. So we're just going to cut in towards the center without going all the way through. I got three or four cuts there. And now it's ready to open. Just take a hold of the center, get all those, pop them out, and it's the same technique for opening your bow. You pull it out a half turn towards you and a half turn away. And one's a little stickier, but you're going to pop that up. And you actually, it's called an aster when we get this all opened out. So, there we go. So a half turn towards you, a half turn away. This one does stick a little bit more. And 
and then we'll do the same on the other side. So again, I've got my little tails. I'm going to pull everything forward. Pull that out and give it a half turn towards you and just alternate. So have fun. Make these bows ahead of time. If you're doing this before holiday time, go ahead and make a whole box full of these bows. And then as you pop them onto your package, you can add the variations. You'll see those variations in the fourth chapter of the Finishing Touch book. So again, with your slide of bow maker, we're going to get this all opened up into a round circular shape. Now when you get that all opened up into a round circular shape, you're going to see some of them popped open. That is called a chrysanthemum or an aster, I think it's called in the book. But what we're going to do is turn it into a thistle. So now what I'm going to do is take that, just like I did with the carnation, crush it all down, and this is another variation, and cut the tops off. So we're going to do the same technique where you cut kind of in an arced shape, and maybe you turn it around a couple times and get all of the ends cut off. So when you are done, you have got a cute little thistle, then you're going to have the little spikes popping out in all directions. So that is a, another variation. Again, there's so many more. Stop back for our other vid video series at ribbonfair.com. And thank you very much for joining us today. Have a great day.